guys, today I've got a great tutorial showing you how to make your own passport photos. Completely free except for printing out, but all the software and everything you need is free, which is great because the post office and the drugstores will charge you 15 bucks for these passport photos and they're not even guaranteed. We just had the worst experience trying to get our twins' passports renewed and they took the photo at the post office for one child but they couldn't get it right for the second child. So they kept trying and then they sent us to CVS and CVS couldn't get it right because their software was cropping her head and it was like chopping off the top of her head and they were like, nothing we can do. And it was the worst experience. So basically they sent me home to do it myself and now I know how and it's actually super easy. So I'm gonna show you now. You take the photo, preferably in front of a white door or wall. Go to pixelr.com. This is free and you go down here to the playful pixel R X is the easier one. The other option is a little bit more um, in depth. And I just go to the highest quality and here we are. Now we have to erase the background. So you're gonna go over here to drawing and you're gonna go big and you're gonna go zero softness at first and it's white. So see, now we're just gonna make as much as we can super duper white. We're gonna get smaller and eventually we're gonna use a soft edge. All right, let's see. Go smaller, I'm gonna zoom in. And you can also fix little flyaway hairs and stuff when you're doing this, which is cool. Let's see, softer. <laughs> She's got kind of a helmet head going on here. Oh, la, 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 la. Here we go. What am I gonna? This is like still kind of weird here. There we go. That's a little better. We still got helmet head, but. <laughs> uh, mm, do we like this? I don't know. I may go back and take a different photo and, and try it again. But for the sake of this tutorial, we will just say. That's as good as we're gonna get it, and this is gonna be a teeny tiny passport photo, so it really doesn't matter all that much. Uh, so we're gonna do 100% quality JPEG download. Here are the US passport photos at the travel.state.gov site. It gives you the basics, like it has to be a color photo, clear image, no eyeglasses and plain white or off-white background. And see, here's the photo tool, but it only works with Edge and Internet Explorer, which I don't have, and that was my problem. It's gotta be two by two inches, and the head has to be between one and one and three eighths inches from the bottom of the chin to the top of the head. So here's the photo composition template, and this is using the same size as they had on their passport. So here is one inch, one and three eighths inch, maximum from top of the head to the bottom of the chin. So what I'm gonna do here, guys, I am going to copy this. You could do a screenshot and crop it. They've also got to buy pixels or inches. So I'm gonna do this, copy. I'm gonna go over into Canva, which is also free, create a design, custom size, and we're gonna to switch to inches, or as they had pixels, you could do that as well. But I'm gonna two by two. Create design. This is where it gets cool. Stay with me, guys. Go over to where you did your little screenshot of the image and pull it over into here. And now you're gonna make, this is two inches, right? So we gotta make it completely fit here. We're making our own template here. We are so, 21st century guys. Okay, so here is our template. Boom. Now we're going to go over to where we saved our photo. There's my new one. I had made one earlier, but it was too short. It didn't fit. So I had to make another one. Here she is. Boom. Put her in here and change the transparency so you can see the template behind her. And just stretch the image so that it fits from the top of the head down to the chin. A little bit more. Let's see, perfect. All right, then we're gonna put the transparency back to 100 and download. Now you need to print this. So we're gonna go back to Canva, 
create a design and we are going to do a five by three so we can print it out or you could do a four by six whatever photo paper you have at home that you can print or you can send it to a local drugstore like CVS or Rite Aid so we just downloaded it there she is Dry, drag her in here and let's make it sure it's at two by two boom and we could put one here and one here and we're ready to print on a three by five photo paper if you want to have a little frame that'll help guide to cut it out you could do that here's like a frame uh it's kind of fat though you may want to just use a ruler when you're cutting it out too just to be safe we're going to go back and download it again and you're ready to print out so there you go, you're ready to cut them out and staple them onto your application and you just saved yourself almost 15 bucks. I hope you found this tutorial helpful in making your own passport photos. Be sure to like this video and subscribe and comment over on social media, US Japan Fam, if you have any tips or anything to add about this process. Thanks guys, bye.